Hello ladies and gents, it's um, Karen here for UK Scrap Addicts and this month's theme is stamping. What I thought I would do this month is use these layering stamps which I've had for ages um, and never really got to grips with them. So there's four stamps in each flower and you layer them up with different colours to get, um, like this is, this is one that I've done. So you layer up the four different colours with the four different stamps and it ends up giving you this sort of effect. So I'm going to use those. Um, I tried a couple of different colourways and I actually like the, the lighter colourway because it looks more like it's been watercoloured so I'm going to use that. I have some Kaisercraft star, um, inks and some Paper Mania inks only because... Um, I had to use what I've got because of the obviously situation that there is at the moment. I can't go out and choose some different colours and I didn't want to buy any from eBay or from Amazon because um, I wouldn't be sure what colours I've got. So I've chosen this colour palette um, to stamp my flowers. And then to go with this colour palette, fortunately I had some of this um, Cartabella A Happy Day which I bought from Hey Little Magpie not long ago. So that's the A Happy Day which I have a couple of sheets, one with labels and um, some stickers. And then I also have this really old Heidi Swap paper which has the title on already for me, Choose Happy. So those are what I'm going to use. And I'll start by stamping my flowers and I'll show you how I do that. So I've started by cutting some pieces of white card and on the back of the packet of the stamps, and they're all to new stamps, um, there is a sequence of how you stamp and you start with the lightest colour and then get darker and darker and darker. So I'll lay my stamps on where I want them and start with the yellow which is my lightest colour. I'm using um, a Tim Holtz stamping platform because I'm not a confident stamper and this way I'm going to get them all lined up exactly the same. So I will ink those with the yellow to start with. What I'm going to do is ink up all 10 pieces of card with the yellow and then I'll do the next colour down. So I'll get on to the next colour in a moment. Next I have to um, line up the next colour and it has these red lines that shows you where you need to line up each of the next ones.
So I've lined up my stamps where I need to print the next image. Just pick them up on the platform. Choose the next lightest colour. Which is this. So that is the second colour. I'll just finish the rest of those before I go on to the third one. So this is the third colour. Get it in the right way around. Okay. This is my third colour, which is orange. You can see the third print. So this is the last stamp which I need to line up. Unfortunately my phone ran out of battery before I could show you how I printed the third colour which was the flamingo pink. But um, I have now fussy cut all my flowers and also stamped and fussy cut some leaves. I've cut this piece of paper into an 11 and a half inch square and this piece to five and a half by 11 so that I've got a nice border around all of them.
I've cut the piece of white card four and a half by three and a half to be my photo mount, which I'll put there. going to lay on my flowers to decide where I'm going to put them. I've uh, actually cut far more than I need so I have some spare for other projects. Move this down. I can get it off without damaging the paper. There we go. That's better. Okay, I wanted my flowers to come across there, and I'm going to have another one down in that corner. going to just adhere those with pop dots. Here's in my photo and I chose this one because Gracie's top matches the black paper. I'm going to add that to my photo mount and then stick the leaves on. As you can see I decided not to use any of the stickers or the cut apart sheets on my layout as I felt just adding this one more flower in the top corner was enough. So that is my layout that encompasses stamping. I hope you've enjoyed this process video. If so, we have plenty more on the UK Scrap Addicts YouTube channel. We also have lots of ideas on our Facebook page and our blog, which the details are below this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next month. Bye!